Good morning, Nuggets. It's your favorite TT from Divine Me 1111 Spiritual Guidance, and I hope you all are doing well. If you need to get in contact with me for a personal, the information is down in the description box. I do very much appreciate your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. They really mean a lot, and they uh, help the channel. So please continue to do so. And yeah, so... Um, I had a couple of channel songs this morning and um, I'm going to, I've got so many things that I need to convey. Um, channel song this morning, one was um, Alice in Chains, um, Man in a Box. other was Happy Feelings by um, Mays featuring Frankie Beverly. So those are the, the two that I got that I can actually remember right now. But the other, the other thing I wanted to just touch on really quick before we do um, daily message. I am having this interesting dialogue with myself and um, my spirit team divine just you know kind of trying to figure out some stuff here I am having this conundrum of why is it that um, people say you shouldn't wear your heart on your sleeve and don't get me wrong, I know we're not just supposed to be going around, you know, vomiting our feelings all over people and whatnot, because a lot of people can't, you know, can't handle it for one and two, don't deserve that much. But um, my, my thing here is, if I don't express myself and let you know you know how I'm feeling be you know on any you know on any scale which you know be that you know happy feelings joyous feelings or when you've pissed me off if I don't convey that to you how will you know you know this is you know the the energy in which is pleasing to me or this is the energy that I'm not going to tolerate. How how do we you know? Because um, I've I've gotten that for a, a, basically my whole life. You wear your heart on your sleeve, and people know. Well, the thing is, is if I am conveying to you what I am feeling, or the the space in which you are um, bringing me to, how do I? How do you know? Like I said, you know, what, what to to stop or what to, you know, continue to do. Because I, 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 I get this thing of um, if, especially when it comes to if somebody's doing something that gets under your skin or that's annoying or pisses you off. If I don't tell you that that's pissing me off or that's, you know, that's annoying to me or that bothers me, how will you know that I, I want you to stop that behavior? Just asking a question. Because if I don't say something to you, you're going to continue to do it to, you know, and it's going to continue to piss me off. But the thing is, is and don't get me wrong, I understand we should not allow other people what other people do to, you know, dictate how we feel. However, I am going to let you know that if you are doing something that annoys me and pisses me off, and I now withdraw my energy from you, or I reciprocate the same energy, but you get pissed off and you get mad and you want me to stop, but it was a-okay when you were doing what you were doing how is how are we going to resolve that how do we resolve that so um that's just um my personal thought that i am uh praying about and talking talking to um 
my spirit team about so you guys go ahead and 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 you know roll that around a little bit roll that around a little bit and see how that because the thing is is i've i've what i have learned that people who um take that information that you're giving to them and use it to um use that information to learn you and learn how to um coexist with you are people that i can work with and that i am very much um you know still wanting to be around and engage with but if i tell you something something about my life and or you know let you know that what you're doing is you know not comfortable for me and you continue to do it you're doing it and you're learning me to manipulate me and do what it is that you want to do because you don't give a fuck so therefore I withdraw my energy or you don't get the same energy that I was once giving you and that makes me the bad person I'm trying to figure out how okay there we go so we're gonna we're gonna take that and keep it and keep it going with this uh we're gonna pull the TT's music oracles amen I posted something the other day that said, let's normalize, I'll work on that over that's just how I am. Because the thing is, is not everybody can deal with or will deal with that's just how you are. And once you get that response, then it's, you know, and, and again that energy is withdrawn or you don't get the same energy there is no one you know there's no fault or blame but your own you have to take responsibility for your actions so if you're not prepared to deal with the consequences of what's going on learn how to um, respect people's energy and their level of consciousness this is what, and, and their boundaries as well. We have to learn how to respect each other's boundaries. Because the thing is, is if you're comfortable, and I'm, I say words, I say what I, what I, what the words coming out of my mouth, and that's it. You don't like it. It's, it's fine. You are entitled to that, but I am also entitled to, to be in my energy and conduct myself as I see fit as well so we have to we're, we're we're in this energy of you know you're gonna treat me a certain way but then um we don't have respect for other people's boundaries we want to just push ourselves onto other people and some people don't are not gonna mesh with you because of that's just how you are well um, that's just how they are. So let's get in this energy of reciprocity, shall we? Not even reciprocity. Let's just respect. We'll just respect. And if that's not something that you can deal with, then hey, look at this. Look at this. TT's Music Oracle. We Can't Be Friends by <laughs> Deborah Cox featuring RL endless love um, Diana Ross and um, Lionel Richie in love with you with um, this is Erica Badu featuring Stephen Marley and um, let me be your angel by Stacy Lattersaw underneath we have the beautiful ones by the purple one Prince okay so as I'm giving my spiel about the whole uh, being and allowing thing, we the first card that I get out is we can't be friends. Now, I understand and know that this song is is not speaking of you know really you know that kind of energy that I was uh, that I was in, but uh, we still take the message as it applies for some. 
that does mean that some people just not going to be able to mess with each other like that no more. And it's cool. That is called having boundaries and self-care. And that's okay. It's okay. It really is. It's okay for you to have your feelings and someone else to have theirs and you not be able to... to um, be friends but maybe you can still work together you know because of course at the end of the day you don't have to be friends with a person to respect them as a person ooh getting touchy right there all right um i'm actually seeing a lot of coupled energy here these all three of the first cards are um, duets men and women the last card and the card underneath are also a man and a woman so um, we're gonna take this how it how it applies there's a lot of love there's a lot of love here in this connection. And again, it doesn't necessarily have to be um, a romantic connection. This could be friends, family, um, a relationship that you have with um, uh, your career, your job, a project. Take it how it applies. And then uh, if you need to um, go deeper and get a personal, that information is there for you to book that personal, okay? But this goes from... Um, the, again, the first three cards being uh, duets to um, Miss Stacy Lattisaw's song, Let Me Be Your Angel. And if, if you have lost a loved one, this person is looking down on you and being with you and you are able to speak to this person this person is protecting you they are your angel male or female does not matter you are protected in the spirit um, if this is an instance where um, you 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 just you've gotten a divorce or you are separated for some for some reason you you know had to leave this job or you you know unfortunately got fired or you're just ending something to begin something else that energy is here okay but it does not mean that there is any love lost because this is truly um um if, if you know the song and you listen to the song um we can't be friends it is because they've been so enmeshed with each other and they're still in love with each other that it's not going to be you know i cannot be just your friend because there are more emotions here than just being able to withdraw from you and not be in your in your energy in your space as someone who romantically cares for you or who is um, um, deeply deeply connected again take it how it applies nuggets take it how it applies all right um, yeah this could also be like you know a person is in you know is in a commitment or you know is committed to this job or this project or they're locked into a contract and um there's you know a you know a third party energy where it's where they really want to be but um at this time right now they can't so and again take it how it applies they not necessarily have to be um romantic you know cheating kind of thing this could be um you, you are in a specific place a specific location or job right now and what you really want to be doing is you know being being somewhere else in another location or um uh again you know in a contract with this job and you can't get out of it because you know 
this is this is what you've done you've signed on for this for however long so yeah take it how it applies all right we're going to get one card from the animals today this message has gone pretty long my apologies but y'all know when it when it comes it comes when i have to have the discussion things things come out all right so yeah whatever this is just you know let it be let it be you have um you have gotten enlightenment you have protection and um whatever is going on behind closed doors whatever is um the the antagonist to um your movement forward just detach from it and and you know release it in love okay release whatever the energy is of it in love if you cannot physically change it right now you know changing your mindset you know going back to a place or a time or an energy you know within you when you are in alignment and then moving forward from there okay rather than you know holding on to uh an energy that's not pleasing to you or you know thinking about something that is um keeping you stuck it's the um energy of you know that that energy of man in the box um that eight of swords energy where you're in a self-imposed prison it's your thoughts and your thinking about a thing rather than what it actually is so okay There is a, a there is a, a slight energy here of like a a five of wands where you are having to um, be in this energy of um, spiritually protecting yourself or you know there's this energy of um, you know antagonism but just know that. Um, observe this energy from a place of um nurturing and love rather than seeing it you know as it's you know intention to antagonize and just know that um you're guided in this energy you're protected you have somebody that has your back who is um this 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 and this could very well be God just looking down and seeing what this is. I'm Archangel Michael with the sirens. Don't worry about it. That's not that that's not to be your focus, okay? That's what I'm getting. That's not to be your focus. Your focus is to um be in that space of you doing what you're doing, getting accomplished what it is that you intended to accomplish and walking away from oh my gosh you guys walking away from the things that shrink your soul coming into the energy that you can govern yourself you can create the boundaries that you need in order to um start over release the energy of things that are trying to um attack you because the thing is is if you especially if you um grew up christian and i have not really you know dove into any other um i've read some passages of the quran and the torah but i've not 
dove into it as I have the uh, the Bible because that is my basis but if you are um, get if you get into the space of this is oh, I lost my train of thought now I get on these tangents good God Almighty but regardless there's this this energy that is trying to um, reduce you down and continue to to be that thing that antagonizes you to to take your focus see do you see what I'm saying it's there to try to take your focus rather than something that is trying uh, to you you that is for you to build upon so guess what you creating those boundaries for yourself you clean the slate oh that's what I was going to say okay so if you believe you know what the Bible says as in you know um, first of all God's wrath is sufficient okay that's one thing but also God says that the battle is not ours it's his so if we are to believe that why are we fighting anything anytime anywhere especially when it comes to spiritual warfare that's the the trick of the enemy of the person that is trying to um, take your energy that is their goal is to get you off of your focus and get you off of your path and once they've done that once they've you know done what they wanted to do and distracted you and hurt your feelings and got you all you know emotionally and mentally in a tizzy they go on about their business they've done their job they've done their deed they got you off of the off of your focus meanwhile they got five other things that they need to be doing or could be doing better or could be learning from you rather than doing the things that um, are intentional to antagonize just saying this could very well be you okay this could very well be you being the antagonist antagonizing and saying and causing you know uproar and ruckus and you've been detached from Take it how it applies, Nuggets. But there is very much, um, there are very much things that, that are being cleared right now. Okay? And there's a new beginning here. There's a, a new clean slate you created. You have the power and the energy to create whatever it is from from this place of um, experience you're not going into it completely green you have experience and again there is this energy of uh, antagonism and you're doing well though you're gonna do well you are protected in whatever it is that you have going forth you know what you know you see what you see what this is so now all you just just focus on moving forward allow God to you know heal the situation as best can be um, and just keep keep your keep your focus okay nuggets um, I think I'm going to leave it at that because if I get too much into it, we'll have a whole hour reading. It's already at 25 minutes. So, um, energies that you could be dealing with today. Uh, this is Capricorn energy with the devil card here. And um, we have double emphasis on Aquarius energy. And... Libra Gemini energy is here all right nugget so take those how they how they fit for you I'm also seeing some Aries energy so if you're dealing with that kind of energy just know that 
you know, you're fine. No worries. This guy got you front, back, side to side. All right. Thank you all so much for joining me. If you need to get a personal, the information's in the description box. Thank you all so much. I love you. I love you from my soul. And I send you all blessings and light. Take care.